Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Sire Denathrius once again, but I'm not going to try to hide it anymore. I am pumped because quests are coming back next week and we got to get that practice in. I pick Sire pretty much every time I see it right now and the average is just so good. We get to bring back a classic right here. Stolen gold plus Terracosa plus passive scaling is hilarious because each turn that stolen gold turns those Terracosas permanently golden. So you get all the stats times two across the board and you can just build a board full of them. Makes for funny divine shield giant stat boards and you get to roll the lobby. All right, enjoy. Play battle cries, that's shit. Have minions attack, that's shit. Stolen gold, I guess not shit. There's like no battle cries in this lobby for Sinfall. Fuck it. Stolen gold. See what happens. Like I got the banana after the minion. Monkey slow. I think we'll use it. We're probably keeping this minion. We're not going to go three on three at any point, And this minion's better than most twos. All right, so super slow quest. Literally zero economy units on Tavern 1. Sounds fun. It's a great quest for beasts. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a good way to play in Banana Slam and stuff. We can make Golden Terracosas for free in this lobby, which is not really, really good, but who knows? There's a weird circumstance that we go up to three in the first board where we know we're gonna get stolen gold we get terracosa and we get some promos and shit and you just get golden terracosa board more than anything it's probably undead or beast that benefit the most from i could have could have tied by using the banana i just didn't think one dragon was going to be big enough he happened to get gold or big banana and use both of them on it Actually pretty good. These things good. Respawn? What about a golden turtle? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I really don't want spawn because I don't want to use the these things on a non-taunted or on a taunted fucking risen rider. In a mech dragon, whatever the fuck, lobby. It's just going to get killed by, by Divine Shield. I think we just suffer for a second here. Suffer. That turtle's card art is wild. And it is. Why is it so? Awkward. Why does Undead like mech and dragon in lobby? Because think about what the final boards look like for like mech boards and dragon boards, and then think about what a like good undead board looks like. When you put those in the same game, just even moderate levels of aura for undead and then just swarm of little minions overwhelms mech boards and, and dragon boards. Sure. The giant Omega Hyrule Calico board wins, but like that's not a really a thing in this game. It's more like mid-game two big Terracosas and a bunch of miscellaneous dragons. Like a an average Eternal Summoner board just destroys that. Nice. We got the tie and the four attacks. So like just aura effect or eternal summoner. And you just come out way ahead. Oh, we big banana gamers now, too. These things are poo. Guess we're going to take our, our corpse refiner value. 
<laughs> the fucking turtle, though, man. Whoever drew that, I, honestly, somebody should check on him. Somebody should do a, a real quick wellness call. Figure out if they're okay, because <laughs> that turtle looks fucking traumatized. Somebody real quick. Hey, what was the inspiration on this card? Are you doing all right? Am artist not okay? All right, well. Hopefully things are getting better, you know? Hopefully they're all right. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the only minion on the board you don't value trade. Well done. Sure. Naturally. Do it again. We'll find a way to take nine damage here. Very nice. I possibly can get it this turn. Really? Really? That's where we are? We in trouble is where we are. Oh my god, we're Terracos aboard. I hate it! Bobby! Bobby, no! Alright, we gotta get lucky. And have six attacks go off. No, we love it. No. No, we don't love it. I don't love it at all. Not even a little bit. Does Big Banana work with Terracosa? Yes, it does. It is permanent stats on Terracosa. Good insight. What's the most OP unit right now? No idea. A lot of different things in a situation where they're useful. Hard to answer. Ah, oh, value trade. We probably are one attack short, right? Oh, we're there. Nice. We got there. Whew. I actually get perfect amount of attacks. Next was cool board, beast plus murloc and undead with likes mech dragons. Such you helpful you or info. Helpful UFO. I get I get tired and I just can't talk anymore. I'm acting like I can talk on most times, but you know, whatever. All right, this is it. We're gonna do the things and then be a banana slam aboard instead. Why undead suddenly good again? Undead was good yesterday. Undead has been good. It ain't sudden. I think people just have uh, started respecting it a little bit more now. Undead are one of the fastest tribes in the game. Undead get online quickly, and when games get tempo-oriented, then they're better. Quest reward again, stolen gold. Left and right minion are golden in combat. Start a combat, turn them golden. Which uh, makes Terracosa permanently golden, which is cool. We gotta find a use for the Terracosas. We may just find promo and go that direction. Otherwise, we probably pivot toward Banana Slammer. You still here, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, still here. Nah, I'm just playing games late tonight. A little bit more freedom to be able to play later in the evenings. Now I'm full time. It won't happen too often, but occasionally. Not the Banana Slam a switch. I mean, it's the more likely way of winning this lobby from here. Terracosas only work if we find promo. And we have like this turn to find it. They heard your pleas, Mr. Malvo. The gods have listened. It's kind of cute. We could taunt up everything. Your pleas have been answered. Right, fuck off, dude. I don't want to see you anymore. I don't want to see you here. You are not welcome in this, this residence. Out of here. Not welcome. We're never going to find a banana slammer again, are we? We 
literally never going to see one again in the history of Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Let's quest or minion proc first. Typically, the way it works is hero power goes first. Now, that being said, Blizzard has hard programmed a lot of the quests to work in the way that is advantageous to the quest. Typically, hero powers go before minions. In this case, those both are kind of the same thing. Okay, Amber Guardian, this is your time to shine. He got pretty good. Two out of three. Happened to hit one of the two of them, which is, you know, minimal value. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, it is the worst result, but... Would you stop it? Would you stop it, baby crush? It's cool round. Got a high roll, make up some nice content. Yeah, I mean, like, just variety. It's part of the reason I love quests. Quests and buddies, for that matter. Because you don't feel like you're playing the same game every game. I'd really like the level, but I'd also like to just go find Promo and Terracrosa. And there's not really a major incentive to do it super fast. Yeah, no. This thing's guaranteed to proc here this turn, unless we put something else on the board. So there's no real reason to go for that golden. Attack! Yeah, attack's cool. It's okay. It's just way more important to find another Terracosa or another promo. Preferably both, soon enough. Nope. 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 Rolling Simulator 2022. That's when Quest came out. I totally didn't forget what year it was for a second there. Shh. Enough of nonsense. This is why I don't like Terracosa boards. You just have to roll a bunch of times. <laughs> kind of like Coomer. Yeah, it's not the most riveting gameplay. It's kind of the same way that why I don't like Nomi boards generally. They are one dimensional and the choices kind of make themselves. But hey, it's not playing the same board again. And I'm okay with that right now. There you go, Amber Guardian. Even though it was guaranteed, still nice. Nice of you to hit. If we play an additional dragon, that's cool. We can get better scaling off of the the promo drake, but we don't get a guaranteed shield anymore. And we only have one promo. So it's kind of a hard sell to get rid of things like, say, for example, Scrapsmith or the Taunts that are going to generate the stats that you would have gotten off the promo anyway. And spend gold in the process. Obviously, in the long term, we just want more promos and Terracosas and we can just continue to scale further wider each turn. Like that one. Now find more promo. No. 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 Meh. We can also, in a pinch, in the later portion of the game, pick up that 1-7 dragon. It'll get buffed like 30 attack in the same turn and get a Divine Shield, which would be nice. But ideally, we get another promo, and then we can have two, three Golden Terracosas and two promos buffing them. Just one Blood Gym. I'd rather have a Taunt against the mech board. Hey, buddy. I'm going to need you to catch up on some stats real quick. Even the current board's guaranteed a top four, pretty much guaranteed a top four. Not, not necessarily guaranteed, but yeah, it's pretty strong. It's a very good tempo board. Guarantee's a hard word. We're just really well situated. Big minions, little taunts in this meta is really strong. 
And it takes a lot right now to get through what we have, and then we just have like big things behind it. Ideally, we find one more promo. Ideally, we find like three, you know, five more promos, you know? And then we can find like a Nadina for the final board. But really, this game just is short. Like, that's the thing that I say so often anymore, is that the game isn't as long as we think it is. And we just play out the middle of the game as best we can, and then it's top three time. Is it worth leveling for anything? Romo is by a landslide the best card we can find. Like a huge margin. Tech card at the end. Right, this is the card we're talking about. This thing would see a what was that five dragon six dragons would see 12 12 from each Terragosa and then see its own 2-2 two, two, and then an additional 4-4 four, four, or 2-2 two, two on this and a divine shield if I need it for tempo it's good here I think that's worth doing where the card no One, two, three, four against two blood gems or against two bumps. It's a fair chunk of stats on the Stormbringer, too. Stormbringer last. Um, yeah, probably actually. To get more attack instead of having the attack earlier. I mean, you can get the permanent stats on the Terracosa, right? All right, never mind. What am I saying? Yeah, yeah, we'd rather just have this thing be higher attack right now. Yeah, yeah you're right. Gold the Smuggler. Yeah, Smuggler's an option as well. It's more like I want the bumper, though. I want bump into mi big minion into bump into big minion, and that's why my order's this way. I wasn't really trying to min max the power of the the order to benefit from the last golden minion it's more the attack order to beat people mainly wanted it golden i, I get what you why you're doing it i'm saying the attack order for beating him is better this way but i think you're right i think that it's a smaller a small sacrifice for tempo and the extra attack if that board is bigger than i think it is would be worthwhile huh huh Huh? Huh? I love it. Thank you. Now just find promo. Never lucky. It's another Terracosa. Yeah, it'd be pretty nasty if... If, uh, if, uh, if we found golden promo, we really need this last slot here to be promo though. It's almost twice the scaling on the board. On the other hand, the 16 health from the Sanctum rest of return on three Terracosas is, is pretty good. I think the prized promo drakes are just lying around. True. All sold out. It's probably all of the promo Terracosa boards that people are playing. So it's always funny when we have the conversations like maybe somebody's buying them all or maybe like, oh, you're not going to be able to find this card because there's multiple people playing mechs. It's like, you know, I, I get you. There's a little bit lower chance of getting it. But like there are a lot of cards in the pool, even when they're uncontested. It takes an average, what, 14 boards to see a specific four star in this game? Exclamation point odds for the calculator for that. Like 22 boards or something like, like that for the average six. <laughs> like... Even if you don't have the contest, you're not guaranteed you're finding it. It's 32 health. 32, I'm dumb. 32. Bro, we brutalizing people with, with Terracosas. Look at him go. 
Undead Quill Bore. All right, we go up. We can find Sanctum Ruster again. Is another good card. And also promo. End of turn effects. Like stolen gold? Nope, start a combat. Like promo trick? Nope, start a combat. Like Sanctum Ruster? Uh, fuck. Shit's dumb. I don't like this rolling simulator of a game. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining when I'm playing rolling simulator over here. And yet we're still taking positive points. Yep, this is what we don't want to fight. This is what we don't want to fight at all. Good news is I think we've outscaled him, but like this is what we're saying that these dragons do not do well at all against typical undead boards. Like as soon as they get into the range of like 30 attack or whatever, you just don't have enough bodies. They just start slamming into you. Thankfully, our stolen gold version of dragons is not playing by the same rules as the, the typical undead versus dragon matchup. We've got like twice the stats we should have with this board. But that's tw 39 attack aura on that board. Oh, just wait two turns. Was it a Canada Goose that hit Fabio on the roller coaster? Would you grab, grab another Terracoast at this point? I don't think so. I think this is just uh, Sanctum Rester and Promo. It's not even really about, about Nadina anymore either. Because Nadina is super awkward to use. It's just going to not be thanks, you know? To be honest, the win condition at the most, just see another promo drink. I mean, it's just more stats. Question is, do we run over everybody before they get online? Or does like the, you know, the mech boards, do they get to enough utility that they beat this amount of stats? We really just need to get an insurmountable amount of stats for people, or for us to get far enough ahead that we beat people before they can win. And unfortunately, it appears that we aren't going to get to that. You might be able to cheese them with a ghoul. I don't think we make that read, though. A lot of a lot of very intricate moves this game, guys. We chose to push the roll button and then the roll button. And then occasionally we push the roll button yet again, which is pretty cool. Because I didn't know that the roll button being pressed that many times in a row wouldn't just fall off and go rolling down the street. Could have walked away after tripling the Sanctum and let us watch. Yeah, pretty much. Be nice to get the promo, but I guess that's not happening. But look at these boards. These are not weak boards. That we're dying to, or that we're killing. But then again, it's turn 14. We really want this game to end by now. Because most boards can pivot around us. Not finding it in 50 rolls is weird. It's slightly below average. Like bottom 20% game. Ain't the end of the world. Hmm. Sanctum Presters. <laughs> All right, we're <laughs> just gonna believe. I fully expect to roll right there, and the game was like, there's the promo. All right, so each of the Sanctum Resters gives a casual 16 health to all dragons, all other dragons. So six times 16 health. Our silly ass promo Drake over here, who can't be bothered to find a friend, is giving the board plus 14, 14 on each Terracosa each turn. Doing it all by himself. He's he's carrying the team, honestly. And 32 twice on the geese. And also this little fucker. Do lose this shield. By going for more stats. I think it is a stat check here. Opponent's board going to be seven golden promo drakes. Yeah, it just has them all. 
Mantids. That's cheat. Mantids and Leroy's. God damn it, Bob. God damn it, Bob. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I hit left. And now it's got to be ghoul. So close. If it was ghoul in that box, we win. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Nope, can't win favorite fight. That would be too fucking easy. That would be too good. So unironically, ghoul is the hit. That's a pretty, pretty amusing prospect there. Now that he knows what our order is, this is going to be tough. Well, I kind of like this thing being in the back, so it is two attack minions when they respawn. But that means that we don't buff it, and that means it wouldn't kill the, like, the mantids. Because they're, oh, there they are. This is, this is six damage. It could do, you know, ten. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get promo Drake next turn. Okay. It's genius. All right. We got the right tech cards. It looks like. Get him, Gleep. <laughs> Atta boy. Atta boy. That was, uh, that was what we needed right there. That's a feels good moment. Get him, Gleep. Takes out two Mantids and a Leroy. <laughs> Let's go. All right, well, who needs more than one promo, Drake, apparently? I cannot wait for Quest to be back. It's going to be a fun time. Look at it go. Look at him go. Oh, man. Fun day. We went down, what? Down 300 from start and ended up almost 200? That's basically what Beater said when he raided the other day. He's like, he played 15 games or 20 games or whatever it was, went down 400, then ended up up 100. Weird. Quest and Buddies, a good times. Yeah, next Tuesday. In case you guys have uh, just tuned into a Hearthstone stream for the first time in a minute. Next Tuesday, but the uh, quests return for the what appears to be the foreseeable future until the next major patch. So we should have close to two months of quest meta. Yo, fun stream today. Yo, thanks, Jedian.